What's up, Buttercup? Uh, I noticed we missed your video. So, uh, your punishment, I've decided, is that you have to pick your own punishment and then do it. Because I don't want to have to pick your punishment. So, I hope you've had a good week, Carolee. Uh, I'm sad we missed your video. I cannot wait to tell you about what I'm going to tell you about today. So, I went to see a play this today, and it was great, so funny. So I'm gonna review the play, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it, and I hope you enjoy it. All right, so the play that I went and saw is called The Play That Goes Wrong. It was at the Amundsen Theater in Los Angeles. From the very beginning, things have gone wrong. Even the program is misprinted. As you can see, I saw the play with my friend, Heather Reyes. So in looking through the program, um, I came across this first, The Murder at Haversham Manor, which was not the play I was seeing, and I didn't really pay a whole lot of attention to it. So I turned a few pages away, I look at the, the information about the play that goes wrong, you know, the cast and everything, and look a little bit here. My friend who went to see it with is with me, and she calls my attention back to this. And I'm like, what? She says, look, this Chris Bean is in, has done like everything, he's the, um, main character, he's the director, and then his name is on all of these. And then I'm like, looking at it more, I'm like, Cornley University? That's not, what? And I realize, Chris Bean, wait, Chris, 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 where did I hear Chris? That's the character of this guy here. And then I realized it. So the play that goes wrong, this is the play that goes wrong. The Murder at Haversham Manor. So this is all fiction and part of the play. Look at this. Robert Groove's School for Acting Perfectly. I love it. These are fictional theater bios for each of the people. This is the reason I ended up seeing the play is the character Trevor, who my friend had seen, uh, the guy who originated this part on Broadway in another play and really liked him. And then that made me look up this play. The bios are funny. I like, I really like this one, this bio. After failing the tryouts for football, cricket, volleyball, and basketball teams, Dennis decided to join the Drama Society. So from the very beginning, when you walk into the theater, the um, curtain is open so you can see the set. And there are people who are supposed to seem like they're the crew working on the set. So this farce and play within a play was just hilarious. It was what I needed today. It lifted my spirits, it made me laugh. They did such a good job. The physicality was great. The timing was great. Um, I just think everybody gave, gave it all, even though, you know, this is a traveling company on a Saturday matinee. They were very, very good. I would recommend you go see it. Um, for me, the, the really only downside I saw was that some of the audience around me kind of took it down, right? So a lot of the audience where we were there uh, was great and interacting and laughing and funny and, and really into it. But sitting next to us on one side and then on the other were two groups that were not so into it, were like kind of quietly and politely laughing. Um, you know, whereas my friend and I are like hooting and hollering and clapping and wooing when we're supposed to woo. And so this is definitely a play that relies on audience interaction and participation. And the feel of the audience is going to change how the play goes, I think. Um, we enjoyed it despite the people around us. And uh, I really recommend it. Go and be those audience members who are going to get really into it and love it. Bye-bye, Buttercup. See you next week.